of the youngest Democratic legislators heading to Lansing in the new year. And today she's being sworn in. Vanessa Guerra from Bridgeport swept the primary and the general, securing her seat as the newest District 95 state representative. Our own NBC 25's Ilse Johan Hayes joining us with Vanessa from a cafe in downtown Saginaw. Good morning, Ilse. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Live once again from inside the Red Eye Cafe in Old Town Saginaw. And joining us once again is Vanessa Guerra. Good morning. Now, at 25 years old, you are the youngest person to hold the 95th district yes. seat, as well as the first Latina to yes. hold the yep. seat, and heading to Lansing in January. Mm -hmm. um, how proud of you are that there's a huge Hispanic population? Here. Yeah, uh, very proud. Um, you know, I think that our state government should be representative of the people that live in it, and so I'm excited to bring that perspective as a Latina to the State House. Now, you will be the youngest legislator heading to Lansing in January. Yes, heading to Lansing. Not ever, but yeah. uh, this term, yes. Okay, big victory. Now, let's talk about this State Senate bill that's happening right now. We want to get your thoughts on it. There is um, discussion on mm -hmm. basically erasing the criminal record for mm -hmm. some. Right. Others feel that it's not necessarily fair, but the argument is that they, the, this will allow people to uh, right. get a job. Mm -hmm. How do you yes. feel? Yeah, um, so the bill was introduced by my predecessor, Representative Oaks, and um, you know, Representative Oaks knows full well that that bill will be a good thing for this community. Um, I think that it's important that uh, people have the opportunity to get a second chance and you know, get a job and be a member of this community and pay taxes. I mean, that's, okay. that's what it comes down to. Okay. But I think it's also important that judges in law enforcement um, are still able to see that record. Okay, all right, Vanessa, thank you so much. You're gonna hang out, we're gonna talk to you yes. one more time. So for now, we're live in Old Town Saginaw. Ilse Luhan Hayes, back to you guys in the studio. You um, turned 25 years old during the campaign, yes, right? And sure. so you've gotten a lot of criticism, at least for being so young, but congratulations, first thank of you. all. Tell us, were you surprised at the win that you took? 76% of the votes during the general election. Were you surprised? Um, you know, the 95th district, it's, it's heavily Democratic. Um, it's, the seat has been held by Democrat for a long time, but uh, still, that amount of support, it did surprise me. Um, you know, we never took anything for granted during the general election, despite it being a Democratic uh, stronghold. Um, you know, we still knocked doors and we still reached out to voters because um, people, the most important thing is being heard, uh, regardless of whether it's a Democrat or Republican, they want to know that they have someone in Lansing listening to their concerns. Now, um, very quickly, what, what, where did this stem from, this desire? You're actually in law school right now. Yes. And born and raised from uh, in, in Bridgeport. Mm -hmm. Where did the desire come from to run for office? Yeah, um, you know, it largely came from um, when I returned to the Saginaw area after college. Uh, I met a lot of my classmates from high school that were leaving the area. And a lot of times they said that they're just there weren't enough opportunities here and so they were going to look elsewhere and um, I was raised to believe that you know if you see a problem you be the solution so I thought you know what can I do to help this community uh, you know be vibrant and to attract young people and to keep the young people that we have and so I ran for uh, trustee in my hometown of Bridgeport and then um, uh, you know, I learned a lot about municipal government. I really enjoyed that position. And when this seat opened up... And now you're sticking around. Yes. You're sticking around. You're staying <laughs> yeah, in Michigan. Yeah. You're gonna, actually going to stay with us throughout the morning. Now, coming up next, we're going to put Vanessa in the hot seat. We will be asking her about a bill that the state Senate is actually working on right now. For now, we're live in Old Town Saginaw. Ilse Luhan Hayes, back to you guys in the studio. Ilse Luhan Hayes joins us live from Saginaw with her story. Ilse? Good morning, everyone. Live once again from the Red Eye Cafe, interviewing the youngest legislator heading to Lansing in January and the first Latina to hold her seat. Now, Vanessa Guerra, tell us, what is your plan? First thing you want to tackle in Lansing. Uh, the first thing I'd like to tackle is uh, meeting with the Saginaw Public Schools to address their tax elimination plan. Um, I think it's uh, important that we're making sure our tax dollars are being used appropriately and uh, we're giving our children the best education that's possible. Okay, Vanessa, thank you so much. Congratulations once again and of course we will be following you all the way to Lansing so for now we're live in Old Town Saginaw Ilse Luhan Hayes back to you guys in the studio